and get to the job. So this is going to be the very first mix of anything with the body part Rubai mixing drill. Um, it's just PVA, obviously, small task. You can see it's whipping it up lovely with minimal splashing, as I've noticed. So obviously the blades throw the stuff down the way and not up the way, which is good for you don't want to create mess. Very handy. And here's the second task. It's going to be a bit of a bigger batch than what the drill sort of recommended, but I just wanted to do a bit of bag just to just to make sure, you know, on the ceiling, on the ceiling that I'm actually going to bond out. I wanted to make sure I had enough mixed, and I wanted to check that the drill was capable of doing a full bag. So, let's see. It's cut through it nicely so far. This is the best way to go about mixing guys, is to gradually build up your mix and that goes for Skip everything, sand and plaster you're always just so, let's see, just cut through it nicely so far This is the way to go about mixing guys, is to gradually build up your mix and that goes for Skip everything, sand and plaster you're always just so, Nicely so far. This is the point to go about mixing, guys, is to gradually build up your mix, and that goes for everything.
You think I got it. <sighs> Not sure. Can you hear me, guys? It was pretty frustrating. So. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to read that though. You'll be hearing it twice. That was definitely a nightmare to get the audio going. And it was really simple as well. I just had to actually on the sort of software turn it off and back on again. Um, which I thought I did already try, but obviously not. So thanks for sticking with me guys there. I'm sure that was pretty boring. Although I think Sandy was enjoying watching the, the plaster being mixed up. And um, the reason I stuck that in the background is obviously it ties in to the title. Why I don't mess with plaster mixes. And I wrote, I think I wrote 90 10 and 50 50. So the 90 10 would be these are all mostly bonding mixes, which would mean you put 10% uh, finish in with your bonding to make it set a bit quicker. Um, or you put 10% of bonding on and then you just skim over it again. And it was basically sort of chatting with a mate there. Um, on why why I don't mess with it, um, which is kind of funny as well, because recently I always do things by the book, but obviously last year I had a couple of major issues with the green grit feeling on me, and I'll never go to grit again because I've never had the issues with PVA in sixteen years. I've never had that same issue with PVA. Again, you can always get a bad batch of something, but these were two two separate jobs, um, and they both failed. So, I'm staying clear of the grit, like. Um, hopefully, you can still hear me. I hope so, anyway. St still, still hear me. Do -do 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 -do. If you can hear me, just. Type in yes. <laughs> now there's a wee bit of a, a lag behind on this. Let's see. No, don't think so. Yes, happy days. Good stuff. Cheers, Nicky buddy. Um that, that's helped me out because I, I, I have to mute the video on the live stream otherwise you'll hear everything I'm saying twice and it'll be very irritating I think hearing me once is, is probably bad enough but um, you, you get the picture what's up Ryan Duncan thank you buddy um, so basically a mate of mine's doing some plastering he's got stipple ceilings to do and he wants to he, he was just sort of asking me my opinions on them and he was wanting to ho hopefully he's still in here and he's he's listening if you are just drop me a wee you can hear me or whatever and let, let me know you can still hear me um that way but yeah so basically he's going to be plastering over stipple ceilings um you all know i did a, a video and um, not that long ago on plastering over our text and stippled textured plaster um so there's a big big demo on how I do it. That that genuinely is my way of doing it. It is slower than you know, if you you manipulated your plaster to set quicker, it's definitely slower. Hundred percent slower, but I feel safer doing that. Um I just feel if you put there's ways to speed up plaster setting. Loads of wee tricks to speed it up. Um such as warm water actually makes plaster set quicker. Dirty water makes plaster set quicker. Cement. Um, there's actually like a rabbit set stuff you can get to put into the plaster now as well. Which what's called half time. And then you get extra time. So you kind of can do both there. One one can can slow it all down for you. And the other, the other one will speed it up. Um, so yeah. I mean, it's just basically he's saying, would I need to it?
audio. I think I've got the audio, but not the one I want. Only certain properties. Hello. I think I've got the audio back, guys. Hope I have anyway. The me the B bars going up and down here. I think William said yes. The worst thing about it was that are you hearing double or is it coming up just just one voice? Because I know it was trying to play like like a double voice a minute ago on me. Audio working, happy to ask. Cheers, Kevin. Thanks, William. But I. Uh, again, thanks for sticking around there, guys. So, I was, before I realised the audio had cut out on me, I had been just explaining the title and why I don't mess with my plaster mixes. And the reason for that is that I just genuinely believe if the companies m could make it set faster, they would. Um, I think that, you know, obviously these big companies making money selling this product, so they know what, what, what the plasters out there want. Um, there is quicker set and finish and stuff out there, and quicker set and bond. So, you know, there is stuff available that sets quicker. For instance, here, the Carlite bonding can take almost four hours to set, um, especially depending on what you're, you're plastering over the top of can be a, a real nightmare. Um, thistle bonding takes about two hours to set, which I don't think is too bad. If you get in, get 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 all set up and get it on quick, straightened up and brushed, it will it will pick up for you, it will set quick enough for you, in my opinion. Depending on what sort of size of walls or ceilings you're doing. But um, basically, yes, I was doing this live stream to help a mate out. He was asking me about um, a, there's a texture ceiling he's doing, and it's he was asking me a, his, my opinion on whether or not he should do a ninety ten mix, and and that's why it's in the title ninety ten and fifty fifty ninety ten would be basically a handful of bonding, and in with the finish coat on over all the stipples, and then that pick up a wee bit and then you can just skim over the top of that again with just pure skim. Um so he he was asking me my opinions on it and that's that's why the the title is. Um so Ke Kevin's just asked me here about multi finish grainy and before. Um I actually found it less grainy here Kevin. I found it the newer bags are a wee bit smoother, a bit creamier, but a bit closer to the car light. Um, but obviously, thistle. I've had some real bad batches out of it as well, where it's just, just nasty, just sweaty and stuff. Not nice to, to finish. Um, thistle bonding, Kevin. I, I use thistle bonding a lot, mate. Um, I prefer thistle bonding over carlite bonding, to be honest. And I prefer carlite finish over, over thistle finish on the most. Hard wall. Haven't used it very often. Used it. There's a big job, guys were in working in front of us and um, pumping it on and used bits and pieces of hard wall there. Um didn't really didn't really like it to be honest and it smells horrible. Now I know there is a, a new make good plaster out there. Um and they've got stuff that doesn't smell like sulfur. That farty smell, that eggy smell. Doesn't smell like that when it's damp or drying out. So that sounds like it could be a, a really good buy. They also have quicker set bonding. Um, this make make good, I think they're called this new new product. I would love to get a couple of bags off them and and get it on the channel. 
Um, they do actually sell it in B&Q, but you know, wouldn't be wouldn't be bad if they contacted and said, look, can you, you know, even do some wee wee things around, um, your workshop or something with it and and test it for them, but or whatever, get it in front of users and and it's just another product they add to the list and talk about, which is pretty exciting. I actually have a video coming live here. I'll I'll probably be in bed when it actually comes live, but a couple of hours. I've got a wee video coming out live. It's I'm gonna I need everybody's advice and help on this video coming out of what you think. I use hardwall all the time and yes bloody stinks. <laughs> yeah, it's that's it's stinky stuff. Um it's quite messy as well. It's a bit like bonding, just sticky and sticks to everything I find it like the floor and whatever. Um, but I could see it having its benefits on certain jobs. I do just love sand cement myself. Um, but I, I, I'm gonna, yeah, once it dries, and if it dries too fast, Kevin, I find it it sucks in. Like bonding, you wouldn't want bonding sitting for uh, too many days because it'll just soak the moisture out of your skin so fast, so hard to work with. Definitely need to prime it, um, for sure, over the hard wall. But yeah, so basically I, I don't try to manipulate the mixes whatsoever. Obviously in the past I've worked for people, builders, other plasters, and you, you gotta do what you gotta do to get paid. And it's their job at the end of the day, you might be there. If you feel that it's really, really bad, you can walk off the job as well. If you feel that you're doing something, I don't know, really, really, really poor workmanship, you can you can always walk away and save your own name, Um, of course. But like I've obviously worked with plasters who put a, put a bit of cement in their bonding and a bit in their finish. They make it set faster. Warm water makes the finish set faster. Dirty water makes it set faster. But I find, you know, it's a bit like like um I was, uh, reps I was talking about too before that even they agree that most plasters are very adaptable. You know, on a certain job if you got lots of skimming to do, you don't you don't need to dope it. You just need to get lots lots on just lots on and you'll soon find yourself chasing your tail anyhow you'll definitely find yourself under pressure trailing it up um but yeah so back to his job so he's got a stipple ceiling i've seen ceilings like that here where i plaster over them it's a fine fine stipple um it could be an artex stipple you need to double check that as well but i found the one i was doing uh, it was like a dry lined finish on the ceiling which is it's just tape and mud where they paper tape the joints and just just put the mud over the top and then you know sand it down give it another lick of mud sand that down finished um, but this paper tape what I was finding when I came to replaster the ceiling was after I PVA the whole ceiling all the tapes came off because they're only paper so uh, my PVA actually soaked through the the wee plaster coating, their dry line finish, their sheet rock, whatever you want to call it, and it soaked into the paper. And obviously these ceilings are what age were they? Houses? You're probably talking, probably talking. They could have been twenty year old houses, getting a bit more. And obviously stipples a real thing in the past, so nobody wanted it anymore. In fact, it may have been a thirty year old house actually. Um, so I lived around the corner from the one I was doing, believe it or not. But yeah, so when I PVA'd it, all the tapes all dropped. They all just started hanging like Christmas decorations. Um, and on that note, I hope everybody did have a good holiday. And I, I wish you all a happy new year as well on that note. But so yeah, so what I had to do then was I had to pull all the tape off, re-scrim it and give them, them lines another quick PVA. And then what I did was I bonded over that ceiling and skimmed it and I didn't manipulate the bond I just just give it a coat of thistle bond out flush to the highest points and straighten it up and then two nice coats of skim over and the job turned out a real cracker um, um, so much so that I got another job from it um, doing the exact same thing um, and the walls were all replastered in that job as well as I remember I think there was a bit of ceiling that needed pulled down and replaced as well. That's that's how I remember how there was no plaster on the actual ceiling itself. It was just whatever the 
the mix was and hit on with the roller basically. So I'm hoping my buddy's still still watching here. Um you can crack away at questions as well and let me know if I'm if I'm answering his questions. Um that way. But yeah, the video out tomorrow it's it definitely mm, it, I'm it, it, I've been challenged basically in, in this video. Um, and I, I need your guys' advices on how to go about this challenge, um, and what you, your thoughts are. So, um, yeah, guys, as always, always appreciate the support, um, big time. Um, obviously, do YouTube. It's probably my most favourite hobby at the minute um, I would love to get out metal detecting I haven't been metal detecting in donkeys so much so I haven't been metal detecting that I've actually lost my pinpointer which has gutted me um, I don't know when or where I lost it I don't even know how I lost it because I hadn't been going out I thought it was in the van but obviously since we've got moved the van's been emptied more than once and it, it hasn't materialised so I'm just hoping it does pop up again I actually went on and ordered a cheaper version of the pinpointer I had. So I'm hoping that it'll help me. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah pain, pain. Um, hopefully my audio is still going. Is it going? Yep. Um, yeah, Kevin, buddy, wh where do you go? If you got a, a nice big permission to go at, I actually, this is what's annoying me the most. I did a wee small job for a guy. He's he's real sound, sound guy, hundred percent guy, and uh, what basically it's like a hidden, a hidden house. You drive down this wee lane, and this house opens up, and he's got the most incredible views of like Belfast and Lisburn and stuff. Um. And I just happened to ask him, and I was like, I'm not, not being nosy, but do you own the land all around your house? And he was like, yeah, he's, I think he's got 12 acres. And he basically said, you can go any time you want. And he said, there's certain fields that he says would be really good to go, that some, some wee historical stories behind them and stuff. And I haven't got, that was probably a year, it could be nearly a year ago. And I haven't actually got to it yet, which is breaking my heart. Um, I actually did get a wee bit of metal detecting out my back garden over the over the holiday here. As I scraped back a few of the stones and I found a one p and a five p, which was pretty good. Like <laughs> better than nothing. Um, and I found not not sure a couple of wee weird things in the garden. Um, bottle caps they were real fun to find. Um, and I found like a, a bit of a something that you would almost set your 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 soap on over the sink i think it's something like that um but i thought that was strange when i dug it up i actually thought it was like a bit of a fire but then it has like a wee chrome plate on it that way um but yeah oh, I, oh well i'm i'm just changing the footage here and i very very almost clicked it to a video I'll tell you about this video, but a video that see what I've been doing, guys. I've been getting a wee bit more super organised. And then again, when I get a bit of time, um, and I basically I schedule the videos. I make them. I try to make them and get them all edited up, and then get them scheduled so they're all scheduled. And I have a video that is scheduled here for two years' time. I basically predicted where the channel is going to be if if YouTube's still around. I did a bit of a prediction where I would hope to be. So I'm hoping that I'm right. I'm hoping that I'm right. I have put a lot, all my goals into it of what I want the channel to grow into and evolve into, and you know, just you know, yeah, all that sort of stuff. But so if you are still watching me in, a, in two years' time, you'll be able to see whether or not. I was correct or not in my predictions. 
that way. I'm not sure if any of you got to see um, the video on the, the new house that we're in. Um, there's a good, good bit of work to do in it. Um, I haven't really done much. Cleaned the gutters out there. Did a video on that. Thought that might help a few people who are, you know, just underestimate the fact that gutters are are important that way. Um, laser Hawkeye. I haven't used it much. I'm just scanning the beach where I live. Yeah, beaches. I have the the Garrett metal detector, Kevin, and the beaches for me aren't great. I actually find that the AS two fifty, the Garrett AS two fifty, is is better um, on the beach. And I'm, I'm not sure why. Maybe because it's got a smaller coil. I don't know. But um, I'm gonna have to do another video on the van as well and an updated video on the van guys as well if anybody's interested in it that'll be up and coming I'll just stick it on the background here but um yeah the pinpointer kevin i picked up it's called like a gt or something um it's pretty pretty good um well it, it basically seems like it's just a cheap version of the guard card that way metal detecting is one of them things that I actually got into it because of YouTube. I, I watched things and thought that God, that, that looks a wee bit fun. But believe it or not, it was it is ten times more fun actually doing it than just watching it. Um, and it's weird the things you sort of get into, and it's good exercise. But you know, you do find something, and then you tend to look up about it and and research it and enjoy it even more then as well. But um, yeah, ho hoping I got my buddies questions are out of the way as well that way um but yeah, this this um it's strange as well because the the live stream here is all changed, so it has. I'm not sure if it's changed for the better or the worse. Um, but all all the tabs are all different and stuff. Um, the other one I used to be able to actually shirk, like while it was on it, which I can't seem to do right now. It is a bit not so good. But um yeah, so hopefully I've answered this question about why 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 I don't mess with the mixes, which is also funny though. Not 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 manipulating your mixes when you do things by the book and like obviously you can always get a bad batch of stuff but yeah, that green grit basically that broke my heart, and I'll definitely never use that product ever again. Um, unless they literally turn around and say we will guarantee it. But um, their answers to why it didn't work was they don't own the paint underneath. They possibly don't own the plaster or the plasterboard underneath, which is fair enough. But you know, PVA, and it's never, never, ever happened to me in sixteen years of having plaster feel, but. Definitely, at least if you go by the book, you can always, you know, you, you know you've done it the same way you've always done it. That way. Um, but, yeah, you guys always know I'm here for, if you need any opinions or, or stuff. I know I got a, a question on facebook the other day a guy had a porch and it was all sort of patched up and he was wanting something that could maybe could he float over it and finish it off um, and i just sort of recommended could he not prime it and put like a thin coat of weber or kran thin coat or acrylic over which would maybe tidy it up um, possibly possibly could do that could do that on this house that i've moved to um, I need to speak, I'd probably need to speak to a Weber rep and see what they're saying. Um, see what they come up with, whether or not they think their primers 
good enough to be able to you know just go over solid paint there's a lot of flaky paint in this house as well so it will need a lot of hard work done to it um, that way so but it would be would make for some good videos some acrylic rendering videos um, I probably will get a couple done need either way um, I'll probably get get a few wee demos done on something here I'm sure I actually want to get a lot of demos done out the back garden and want to do a lot of funny videos as well not funny but like creative wee videos and stuff and um, whenever we get a bit of time and some good weather and um, the weather's been really bad here recently and um, just quite wet hasn't been too cold just really wet so i haven't been able to do too much outside and um, kind of made me glad to get the gutters actually cleared out when it did it's always something bees on your mind when they're dirty well bees on my mind when they're dirty because the last thing you'd want is them filling up the wind blowing them the water back up into the roof and um, eventually your felt will wear and it'll get down into the cavities create all sorts of havoc in your walls so glad to be getting getting that wee job out of the way <coughs> but yeah i think i'll try and do a live stream once every week once every two weeks and i'm gonna try and do a wee fan chat on the way home from jobs once every week every two weeks or or have them sort of overlap each other um, it's sort of hard to say for definite that I will definitely do it. I'll definitely always try and get my, my video up a week so you just have some fresh content to watch and something new. Hopefully I'm always always getting something good, um, something interesting for you to actually watch. Um, uh, there's only so many things you can do with skimming walls or just rendering so I do like to just change it up a bit. Um, get a wee bit of variety into it that way as you just know tend to try and do wee bits and pieces of everything on the channel um, as well as what, what I was saying was just trying to crack on and get some some Oh, just changing, changing up some DIY videos and stuff done as well. Um, because you, you never know. You can learn. You can learn all or all, all sorts of wee things. Um, this is one one of my actual f favorite videos here. This one, and I, I like the I like some of the Dyson videos I have, and some of the the wee brick brick style render. Which again, I'm gonna do do more detail of that. Hopefully you can still hear me good. Do -do -do. The wee digger in the background there, I'd really love to get a wee digger like that. So it would maybe something for the future.
sweet, sweet one, William, buddy. See, since you've changed your name, it's oh, it always takes me a wee second. Um, but I do remember you used to you did the ca the kayak, the wee boat down the rivers. Looks really peaceful. Some of them places you be hitting up. Um, uh, lo looks a cracking hobby to be doing. Only thing is, oh buddy, right off. Um, hopefully you're safe around the the fires there. I think you're down here in Australia. So ho hopefully that's not affecting you. Hopefully it it rains soon and puts it all out. Big time. Um. Yeah. I've never seen the world having so many fires before. Um obviously I suppose my my life on this earth is, is just a a grain of a grain of sand on the beach, really, isn't it? Compared to how much time's actually passed, but you know it just seems like a lot of a lot of fires and a lot of big big forests going down. It's actually something I'd love to do is, is have a couple of acres and just, just create a wee forest or like a garden or a wee wood, whatever you would call it. Um, and just sort of leave it, just buy, buy the land so I own the land, get the trees all sort of planted. Just watch it grow for a load of years, go for walks and stuff in it. And just make sure, just try and leave it where it's always protected. Obviously the government, if they ever decided they wanted to put a road through it, that's what would be happening, but at least it would be something something I could say I tried to do or did do. It should be good. But yeah, I'll pu probably wrap up the video here, guys. Anyway, um, I think I've answered all the questions there of my mates. Anyway, so he'll be able to click in later on and, and catch up on them. We're at about the forty minute mark, I think, where I was really talking about what what I do and don't do, um, and obviously sometimes. You know, the shortcuts aren't always really that much of a shortcut because they're going to end up leading you down a bad road where, you know, eventually you might get bit in the bum and have a bigger job on your hand. Fixing fixing other people's work is not easy, but at least you can pace to do that. But if your work fails, it's really down to you to fix it. If you want to be a good tradesman or be a trustworthy guy, you know. Um, you can't have somebody very unhappy with your work. It's gonna last a, a bit of time. That's why I definitely don't don't try to alter plaster. Um, don't get me wrong. Like I know there's you know people buy buy vehicles for thousands and thousands where don't last, and kitchen appliances for hundreds don't last. You know I've, I've literally seen things that we have bought. Over the years here, um, phones, a wash machine, and our wash machine wouldn't be used as as much as most people's, because um, there's only there was only ever two of us, and the thing broke literally a a month out of its its warranty, its its manufacturer's warranty. It just seems a wee bit too strange. The phones all did it. Everybody will remember the iPhones all broke, literally like a couple of days and stuff after their. Their warranty, like like loads and loads of people's iPhones went, and that's all. That's all been done on purpose. Clearly, clearly done on purpose, and it's a bit obvious. 
But yeah, so my point is, we don't want to be like them companies. We're all just small, small companies. Most plasters are just individuals, tradesmen. You, you want to have a good name, and um, do things by the book, and just leave a good clean job as clean and good as you can. At the end of the day, we're only human. Plastering is like if you watch like we're still using the tools that that the the game is built upon. Hawk and trial um hasn't you know we're still doing it it's still a it's more like a craft and a trade sometimes um that way but yeah um and youtube's sells oh make haddock oh my god what's up make buddy um make is a an absolute legend of a builder if anybody hasn't seen his channel, guys, I'd 100% recommend his channel. A real old school builder. Um, Happy New Year, Mike, man. He does stone work to a real high quality. Um, and I would nearly bet, bet my house that he would back up what I was saying about the individual tradesman or builder or plaster that doing things by the book. And just, you know, at the end of the day, we are only human. We're only you know you're only a man but if you really try and put your heart into the job i'm sure it'll pay you back eventually that way but um definitely he's he's got some cracking videos random videos stickle videos um and i do love i know i've plastered over some stone but make make has built stone walls that would be an absolute Disaster if you plaster them because they're so nice, some lovely steps and stuff. But I am um, definitely, definitely, guys. If if you have nothing else to do, get on the Max channel and have a look. There you are. Um, thank you, Max, but um, appreciate it. Um, yeah, I don't I don't think loads of trades me into live streams. Um, I think I've seen another plaster a mate of mine did a live stream before as well but i don't know just always trying to do something different um just to try to help the channel grow a wee bit more um as you can probably tell if you look through it it's not i do mostly plastering but i try to do other things too but then all the people say you shouldn't do that if you want to grow your youtube you should try to stay in your niche your niche try and keep doing the same thing over and over again but I'm pretty sure people don't want to watch just the same video over and over again. They want to watch a wee bit of variety and stuff. Um, and definitely, if if you think this is a great channel, man, then I really appreciate that. Definitely, because um, I, I know I know your channel is a, a real top class channel. Um, I don't I don't know if there's any other stonemasons that would would be on YouTube that would have as good as a channel as yourself. So, yeah, um, and happy new year, buddy, as well. And I'm gonna have to get on and binge watch a little more of your videos. Um, I'm actually thinking on this house. You you probably haven't seen a video of this, like, but we just moved house there, and at the front, I've been playing with the idea of building stone up at the front, some nice stone, but I don't know. Or should I do some plastering, rendering, and make it look like stone? There is a stone fern house, but I don't like the way it's done. And definitely, I just don't know why. The, the, it's just not my taste or my style, and I don't know. <laughs> but. think for the fire I probably will 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 probably take it out and just get 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 it done some other way. YouTube myself. <laughs> I know but Yeah, YouTube's a it's it's a funny place. Um the, then they changed all the rules there. Um well they didn't change the rules but they wanted us all to sign up to the some program thing about what what the content's made for. And obviously 
the likes of yourself and myself, anybody doing like trades, other plasters and stuff doing trades on YouTube. To me, it's not. Yeah, it's not for kids, but like you know, kids can still watch it, and we don't be on. You know, we're just on showing work, and um, so it's a bit strange, what way to sele- select, select that type of thing. Um, but it's not it's not specifically made for kids, but obviously kids can watch it. I don't think I've ever watched a video of yours yours and thought, oh, I m- must mute this down because, um. My, my daughter's here, you know, <laughs> that way, um, yeah, um, yeah, my, my mate William, he's from Australia there, typing in, um, so, yeah, I'm just, I was hoping that he's, he's safe out of the woods, out of the fire that are down there, but yeah, YouTube, I don't know, definitely a, a strange bit of a place for what does well i'm sure you've probably seen it with some of your videos that i've seen a couple of your videos that i thought were really really good lots of knowledge in them and thought why, why is it so low views compared to like some of your other videos that get get really high views um but obviously i think all your videos all your views are well deserved but like and you know just putting it against other videos that you know people um, they don't really sound too confident in the things they're saying. Um, where you know, when when Mike's talking about the job, it's it's legit. He's been there and done it, or whoever was teaching Mike has been there and done it. And you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it, sort of thing. So, but yeah, that's why I think YouTube's all about the. I don't really know all about the tags and stuff not always been the best it took me 40 minutes to get this live stream actually where people could hear me talk so <laughs> i'm definitely not the best with computers um and my phone updated the other day and i haven't a clue how to read messages anymore a mate of mine was texting me about work and stuff and i didn't get the message till the next day which is not really very helpful that way but yeah guys if anybody's in that de- definitely head up make Meg's channel make the mason he is top class if you're interested in in stone mason brickwork i've seen him doing rendering and stuff and floors and making actually making um i think he made what was it a concrete head before but yeah, I, I definitely I remember you making something in form, making a form for it, and making the mix up, and cracking it in. I just thought it was exactly the way I would have did it as well. Um, it turned out perfect. But uh, something I I I was thinking about around here and stuff, making coping stones and stuff. But I would probably do them all in situ, um, just sort of run them in that way. You know, Meg, I'm not sure if you're still here, but that's my stone mason work there. Just plaster it and make it look like stone. <laughs> I know it's cheating, but it's has it has a decent effect. <laughs> Coin stones, they're called. Well, call call them here. I think corner stones as well. And that was horrible weather doing that. Very very cold weather. Stick on. I'll stick on another wee clip here of my. Well, this figured. I don't know about that, boy. Um, you definitely put in the hard work when you're doing plastering and stuff. Um, and one of the, the, the jobs. It's f- funny, actually. Um. It was a job you did and you were you 
you you were like cut up um i think it was from like an old sofa or something you took the sponges from an old sofa and you were cleaning off the stone and cleaning tidying up the the motor joints and all with the sponges on the stone you just gotta see this video guys um and there's, there's a load of reasons why i actually i really love that video um there's one you were using it up an old sponge that that was working perfectly and like you said it was already for the bin um so you, you didn't mind about losing it and two it you know it worked perfect and you could cut it up on the different sizes but three the, the, there was a guy i met we were, we were working on a, a movie set believe it or not and the fella had all these sponges he was a an older fella and I, I, there were sponges were so good and i was like where where did you get them sponges and he he got them from the exact same way you did he says he's seen an old um an old like a uh, settee pillow on the side of the road and cut it up and kept all the good sponges cut it up in the nice good sponges i thought that <laughs> it must be you know m might have been like an old, more of an old school thing for people to do um which was re reuse sponges but i definitely thought it was amazing um definitely prefer to see people reuse things than just throw it away i think the throw away the throw away things just got too much everything's just got too too much throw away everything's was nothing's really recyclable it's just all about profit throw it away and throw it away and don't worry about it again but um no i definitely appreciate the nice words mick um, especially you know know the quality of your work definitely man um This is my most recent sort of video from last year. I think it was the last video of last year I did. Um, and probably my f most favourite video of 2019. Yes, but I it's still live. Still live and chatting. Um, don't know if you can still hear me. Sometimes I have to keep adjusting the mic and stuff there. Fury mittens. What's up? But yeah, there's nothing fake about Mike, guys. That's for sure. Not one thing. He's definitely they they don't not make it like like him anymore. I don't know if you know um, Kirk, Mike, Kirk, Kirk Giudano, he's another, another legend, in my opinion. What, this is what I did the bigger fact with. Um, um, Fury, do you mean this video? Cheers, buddy, do you mean this video or the, the video beforehand with the big, the bigger brick effect? The big coin stones, the cornerstones? But um, yeah, the, co the cornerstones was just satin cement, um, same as what I'm doing here. This is satin cement as well. Again, this was my probably one of my most favourite videos to date. Um, and like like I was saying, um, that basically, you know, some videos you do and you think they're going to do really well, and you put a lot of time into them and they don't, and then you do another video and you know you, you don't put as much maybe it is just when you don't put too much effort in um it's just i don't know it's just easier to watch i don't know but yeah just just sat and cement buddy um on both jobs there was a, a scratch coat applied first sand cement and then that was allowed to cure and then sometimes i like to go over it next day but on the one we're watching here at the minute where i'm gonna do brick effect this was done a lot the scratch coat on this was sitting a long long time before i got the the top coat on but um yeah 
yeah, I enjoy doing a sweet job. Sometimes you get a bit of time to do a job. It's, you know, it's much more fulfilling to do. And you enjoy it more. You have a bit of fun with it. But yeah, that whole whole job was was fun to do. Brick, I did the brick laying of that too, but it was a good job. I could plaster over it. I hate it that way. Um, yeah, um, yo Fury, I do mean which which job do you like the most? Is it the one I'm doing now or the one previous? The be video previous. The video previous was done a long time ago. Very very cold weather. This one was actually done in the summer, very, very hot weather. These two videos are like opposite opposite ends of each other in the world. Cheers, buddy. Appreciate it. Ho- hope, hope you're sticking around for the long haul. <laughs> um, and this one, yeah, yeah. I actually have a clip of this one. I'm not not sure which which job, but I have a clip of this job that I'm doing now. And um, a good while after it was done. So I have. Believe it or not, this 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 the job I'm doing here is on my own back step. So it was. I really enjoyed doing it. And definitely probably do similar things where where we've moved to. Put a lot of time into this wee, wee silly job, like, but it just tidies up that area. That area beforehand was it was a bit of a mess. I don't even think there was a step or anything there. But I have a clip. I did this in the start of the summer, and then we moved moved in the winter. So I have a clip of it when it was in the winter. It was still last and perfect. And to be honest, this type of job I still would expect it to outlive me. The same the render it did on this, and um, the reason I went ahead with it, a um, good mate of mine, and um, I worked alongside for a good while. He did dry dash with the same type of render and said that like 10 years later and, and the colour was still nice and true so you know that's it here and I went a wee bit better because time you know it should dirty down in time and, and match even better but again you know you could hit it with a light power wash if you ever needed it to freshen the whole area up Sometimes I love doing the wee fruity jobs, guys. They're real hard to do things. More enjoyable when you step back and look at it done. Believe it or not, this when I was talking about the fireplace earlier, I was thinking something similar to these lanes in behind the fire. It will be very, very fruity to do, but I think it would it would if I did it the similar colour, nice red colour, it would, and the fire itself being grey black, like a charcoal colour, it will, it'll sort of they'll bounce off each other colour ways. But again, that's that's in the future. Um, I'll have to take away the wee stones, stone, stone around the fireplace first. I'm not sure, Fury, if you've seen the, the, the new house got ourselves into <laughs> yeah that's it buddy um definitely there's there's a couple of there's um I'm, again i'm not sure if you've seen the new house but there's a an old black wall at the back and 
I keep looking at that thinking I'm going to do something really amazing of it. Um, it's practically built right out onto the boundary anyway, so it's, you know, I'll not be just knocking it down. I'll just be going for it, just keeping it. Um, maybe doing a few tutorials and stuff. Um, depends what people ask for over the, the coming months, because obviously in the summer I'll be definitely definitely keep going yo what's up buddy how did your your house come off i know man mo was doing a lot of plastering himself and having to go and fingers crossed for you man that it went well i have to type in every now and again as well as i don't know if the voice is still coming through all the time uh, Some melanases. What's that? <laughs> it's no no asses. Um, cheer, cheers for you, buddy. Appreciate, appreciate it, man. Millennials. <laughs> um, but I oh, appreciate the good words. I do tend to get some some bad words now and again too, but <laughs> try to get them. Try to have it set up where it should be, it should counter any bad words, I hope, <laughs> and stuff, um, but yeah, appreciate appreciate it man, stay in touch man, um, and again, I'm always open to ideas on certain jobs and stuff, I'm always open to opinions and ideas, 100%. Here, Mo, Mo, how did the house go? How did you get on with with all the hard work that we're doing? <laughs> I've laughed. I'm bored of the stone exterior wall and smells gone. Happy days. Yeah, Mo, I'm, I'm not sure if I ever sent you a message, but um, that that. That hard wall stuff actually does see when it's damp or when it's setting, it smells like an eggy smell, like a sulfur smell. Um, and believe it or not, not that long after we were chatting, um, I ended up using a lot of it. Um, well, not using a lot, like, but, but around a lot of it, skimming over it. There was a team in, in front of us doing the undercoat and we were doing the top coat. Uh, I had to, had to use bits and pieces of it myself as well. But... Um, Basically, when it's setting, and when it's, you know, when it's damp, it smells farty, like eggs. Doesn't smell like a sulfur smell, doesn't that smell nice? Um, but yeah, I'm glad you got that sorted, man. Bored and laughs probably sounds the best thing to do. And then just skim them plasterboards, did you? Or what way did you finish the plasterboard? Dry line them, or? Yeah, that'll keep it nice and warm as well. For sure. Did you just dab the boards on? Oh no no, you laughed it out and then screwed to the 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 timbers I, I presume. Yeah, the foil back's the best best way to go, buddy. Um Yeah, definitely. Oh happy days. I I would say it's got a lot better since you've done that, like heat ways as well. Those stone tends to be tends to be good in the summer and good in the winter. Holds the heat and then throws keeps the cold out in the winter
Yeah, guys, I, I'm about to, to bounce here, so I am. Um, you know, we'll ho hope you get a chance to get a wee look at the other the, the projects I've got in front of myself, um, if you do get time. Um, but I must bounce off here. Appreciate everybody coming on. Um, bonding plaster. Out of date bonding. Um, it, the only thing is it will set very quick. Using out of date bonding, it'll set a lot quicker. Or it could do the opposite. Sometimes I've seen it hanging and hanging and hanging. But nine times out of ten, it sets really fast, like super fast. Um, that way. Um, so if it does that, there you're gonna have problems, and out of date plaster can also fail, buddy. Um, but I heard a wee trick. What do you do with old plaster? And you mix it with new plaster, and that that does help it. Um, but you know, if I was gonna, if I had an old bag and I had ten bags, it maybe only use a wee handful or two from the old bag into the into each mix. Um, just dilute dilute it a wee bit more. But again, it's like I say in the title, why I wouldn't really mess with out of date plaster. I'd maybe keep it for for experiments or something, you know. But I, I'd be almost. In your own house, it's probably not too bad because you know you could always chip it off and start again. But in somebody else's house, I'd maybe be a wee bit cautious of of using using out of date gear. But yeah guys that's I'm gonna have to the shoot on here. It's my bedtime. Um but yeah, I appreciate all the, the likes and comments guys and sharing spent the time with me and stuff. So I wish you all a happy new year. If if anybody's re watching this, um I wish you a happy new year as well if you have lasted this long watching. Um had some cracking guys in the comments here. My mate Mo William um, Kevin, Fury, Mike, um, Mike's an absolute legend of a worker, Nicky Walsh and Sandy, um, definitely appreciate you all coming in, um, definitely um, enjoy it tenfold, with, I mean, there's a good lot of people in chatting away, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll get to catch up with you all guys, um, again, I'm going to try and do a, a live stream more often um but yeah if you, if you can get on and watch them them previous videos that have i've just done the, at the start of the year here i have another video coming out here in another couple of hours and i, I did a ton of videos just before the new year hit um so yeah i really appreciate you all coming there and if you get a bit of time get on and have a wee peek at some of the the, the more recent recent stuff and and drop me a few comments and stuff in there and let me know your thoughts and opinions.